Hello guys, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to be recreating this scene from Caspian's report YouTube video. France secretly owns 14 countries. So let's get into it. CFA franc. Using it, France controls the monetary sovereignty of 14 nations, making up nearly 200 million people. These countries include Benin, Burkina Faso, Cameroon. So instead of After Effects, I have imported the African map we're going to be using. You can see from here that I imported it into Adobe Illustrator first to separate each of the maps into different layers. So from here, you can see Benin Republic, Burkina Faso. So these are the 14 countries you're going to be using. Then there's this full big African map. We won't be using it. It's just there for, I just separated the rest of them inside that folder. And I have also created two, two additional folders because you're going to be creating a lot of pre-comps and compositions so we're going to be keeping like putting them inside this folder so that it's more organized so let's get into that so the first thing we're going to do is create a new composition 1920 by 1080 just leave it, leave it as it is and just let's just rename this as main comp and click ok like this so so the next thing we're going to create another composition again this time it's going to be 100 by 100 then name this country country one that's okay so we're going to click out of here then drag this new composition inside of the main com then go inside this composition then first thing we need to do is add a new layer a new solid layer make sure it's white and make sure it's the same size as our composition then click ok then i'm going to go into my african map and we'll go to the first country here and bring it on top of our map here then make sure you click on this continuous rasterization so that it's cleaner so i'll go down to scale and reposition this just so that it's smaller then i'm just going to type out the name of the country here so select your text tool so this is the font i'm using you can use whichever font you want so i'm just going to center this in the middle bring my line to here push it to the middle like this now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to highlight all three of them then pre-compose them like this now we have this con here then next i'm going to go to my rectangle to here then select the ellipse too then hold down control and shift then from the middle here just draw a max now this is okay now when we go back to our main listing you can see that we have this circle here like this next i'm just going to rearrange this comps we've created so this country comp one i'm just going to move it into into comps folder close that now this pre comp i'm going to move it into this folder here and so the next thing we're going to do is create the same the same comp for the rest of our country so we'll be doing this for the second country here and so instead of creating this from scratch again all we need to do is duplicate this composition we already have here but if you worked with after effects before you know that and uh, duplicating the composition is very hard especially if you have other pre-comps inside of them but luckily for us there is a fine this uh script or plugin that is totally free you can get it from an aescripts.com it is called true com duplicator it's lightweight so this is what we have here so i'm just going to click on the composition I want to so i'll go to my com click on this composition here and it's just really simple because i want my composition the, the second composition to go to the next number i'll just then i'll just leave the depth as one then select the number of copies i want then hit duplicate and to just very fast and we have you see that it duplicated everything now if you go into our pre comps you also see that we have the same thing so imagine doing this manually so the plugin is the script is really nice and it's totally free on a script.com i'll link i'll put the link in the description below so now all we need to do is drag our second composition here on top doesn't matter and click continuous restoration then i'll go into this composition here go to my african layers then this is the second and country we're going to be doing so i'm just going to click on beginning in the timeline here and also here then hold alt because we want to replace this map here without having to adjust everything from here 
so i'll just hold alt then drag it on top and you can see that it replaces the other one here very easy i wish i could do the same for the text but i'll just have to type this out manually again so now when we go back to our main comp you can see that we have this here and let me just reposition this so that you can see that we have the two countries like this so you can see that we have them like this so next so just do the same thing for all of the remaining 12 countries so i am done creating all 14 countries and so the next thing we need to do is create the path that the countries will follow along the circle so to do this make sure you click off of your timeline so you don't create a max go to your shape tool and make sure you pick ellipse tool and no fill with a stroke of two pixels then i'll hold i'll hold in control and shift then draw it from the middle like this not too big i think this is okay then make sure you align it to the middle using our line tool like this that's okay then next i'll select all my country instead of using the position i we want i want the anchor point to remain in the middle here while the rest of the country move up so to do this i'll just press a to bring up my anchor point then just simply move this to the top like this that's okay next i'm just going to bring the rotation then using your rotation you can then align each of them to where you want them to be so i'll just quickly do this so my countries are not evenly distributed i i will take too much time so next i'm just going to bring bring this line so that it's at the bottom so to do this i'll just press ctrl shift alt then just press down key that's a shortcut to bring it to bring the layer down to the bottom and there we have it so next i'm going to create a new layer so i'm just going to go to layer new then no layer so just leave it where it is and i'll just bring this up use the same shortcut then i'm just going to select all the countries and parent them to that no layer so i'm just going to use the rotation click r here then go maybe let's say 10 seconds or so and so let me play this back so now let's move on to the next part the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this french newspaper that i just imported just going to bring it below our layer here like this then i also have a background this blue kind of background put it on top of our layer like this then i'm going to make this layer multiply then after that i've also imported this french map i'll bring it here align the anchor point and place it there then go down to the scale and bring it a little like this then i'm also going to type out france so after that i'm just going to select all the layers everything and click on them again so next we are going to add a new layer a camera layer like this leave the default setting one node camera okay so we need to make this 3d and there's something i forgot to mention again for the camera to work you need to also make every all your layers 3d even the layers inside everything needs to be 3d so you need to do this at the start of your when you're starting the um, animation or video so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go down to six seconds then split the camera then for this first one i'm going to bring up the rotation and the position parameter set a keyframe for all of them but we're going to use, be using the y mostly and the position so i'm just going to zoom in using the z position like this reposition this side it's just going to be a simple animation next i'll go to six seconds so let me play this back for you to see and you can add other features if you want but this is basically everything you need to do so so thanks for watching and i hope you subscribe thank you Thank you.